Building Processes Within the K2 Designer for Visio. In this demonstration, you will learn how to build a fully functional process within Visio 2007. In addition, you will learn about some of the collaborative design capabilities offered by the K2 Black Pearl platform. We'll start by opening an existing Visio diagram. Because K2 uses layering technology to provide design functionality in Visio, you are free to use any stencil and shapes that you'd like. In this scenario, we have an expense claim process that we would like to automate. Our first step is to turn the K2 integration functionality on by clicking on the Enable K2 Workflow button on the toolbar. Next, we'll select our Start Activity, which in this scenario will be the Expense Claim Submitted step. Right-clicking on the shape and selecting K2 Integration will open the K2 menu. Select Bind to Workflow to open the Configuration Wizard for this step. Since this step kicks off the process, we'll attach it to the Start Activity. Notice that a green arrow image is shown next to the shape. This indicates that the shape has been integrated with K2 and is the start activity. Now we'll configure the manager approval step. We'll add a new activity to the process. A list of all the available event wizards is shown. We'll select the default client event for this step. Clicking Finish on this wizard will automatically open the default client event wizard so that you can fi configure the event directly within the Visio environment. We'll name the event Manager Approval and we'll use a web based form. We'll access the environment library where URLs and connection strings that might change from environment to environment are stored to retrieve the URL for an existing ASP.NET form. We'll check the box to send an email notification to the user when the task is assigned. Now we'll configure the actions for this step. Actions are the options that the user has to select from when completing the task. In this scenario, we'll configure an action for approved and one for declined. For each action, there's an associated outcome where business rules can be configured to affect logic of the workflow. In this scenario, we'll just keep the defaults. Finally, we'll configure the destination user. The destination users can be a role defined in the K2 Management Console or an individual person. In this scenario, we want to assign the task to the originator's manager, so we'll open the Workflow Context Browser and select the manager from the originator's information. Notice that the K2 logo now displays next to the manager approval shape, indicating that it has been integrated into the K2 process. Next, we'll configure the declined email activity, again right-clicking on the shape and choosing Bind to Workflow. For this step, we'll choose the mail event. The mail event lets you configure an email that can be sent to a number of different people. In this scenario, we'll be sending the email to the originator. We'll set up a from address and specify a subject. When configuring the email, you have access to both process and instance data to help configure the subject and body of the email. In this scenario, we'll use the originator's name as well as some other information from the process.
The rest of the shapes can be associated with activities in the process by following the same steps we used when configuring the previous activities. Once complete, the K2 logo will display next to each of the shapes that have been associated with the K2 process. With the Visio Designer, you have the flexibility of choosing the shapes you want to associate with the process and at any time have the ability to modify the existing workflow to include additional functionality if needed. I've gone ahead and configured the rest of the activities, but we still need to configure the rules that connect each step of the process together. We'll start with the expense claim submitted activity and we'll attach that to the manager approval task. To add a new activity line, click on Add, and in the Connect To dropdown, select the activity that you want to connect to. In this case, we'll choose Manager Approval. Once configured, you'll notice that a green line between the Expense Claim Submitted task and the Manager Approval task is displayed, indicating that the K2 process includes that configuration. Next, we'll configure the lines coming out of the Manager Approval task. For this task, we already have two activity lines created for us based on the outcomes we defined earlier, but they need to be configured to connect to the correct tasks. Click on the Approved line and select Edit. In the Connect To dropdown, select Accounts Payable. Configure the Declined line to go to the Client Email option. At this point, you can deploy the process directly from Visio by clicking on the Deploy button in the K2 toolbar. Or, if you have additional configuration that you would like a developer to work on, you can export the process definition so that it can open within the K2 Designer for Visual Studio. Once the process has been successfully exported, you can open the process by browsing to the save location and double-clicking on the project file. The process opens in the K2 Designer for Visual Studio and you can add additional functionality as necessary. In this demonstration, you learned how the K2 Designer for Visio gives you tools to build complex processes in an easy-to-use, familiar interface. In addition, you learned about the capability to collaboratively design processes within the K2 environment by exporting the process directly from Visio and opening the process files within the K2 Designer for Visual Studio.